couple other things that happened uh, here. The mass murderer, the D.C. sniper, um, John Allen Muhammad, assassinated somebody at a, a gas station here in Clinton, Maryland. John Allen Muhammad became a large part of American culture in Clinton, Maryland. Muhammad and his colleague, Lee Boyd Malvo, terrorized the Washington, D.C. area for many weeks in October of 2002. Muhammad was born on December 31, 1960, in New Orleans, Louisiana. Soon after he graduated from high school, Muhammad married his first wife and joined the Louisiana Army National Guard. But in the early 1980s, he got into trouble twice, once for failing to report for duty and another time for hitting an officer. He later separated from his wife. He had married Mildred Green and had three children and joined the U.S. Army. The Army seemed to be a good fit for Muhammad. But in 1994, Muhammad left the military. Then in 1999, his second wife, Mildred, filed for divorce. And the next year, she got a restraining order against Muhammad because of the threats he made against her. Once the order was issued, Muhammad fled to Antigua with his three children. It's also speculated that when he fled, he met his future accomplice, Lee Boyd Malvo. After some time, Muhammad returned to the U.S., but police found him and returned the children to their mother's custody. His ex then moved with the children to Maryland, and Muhammad was soon reunited with Malvo. He began to teach Malvo how to use a gun, and they used a tree stump in a friend's yard for target practice. By the fall of 2002, Muhammad and Malvo had moved on from tree stumps to real-life victims. They started at a liquor store in Alabama terrorizing the city before beginning their assault on the Washington, D.C. area. They ended up going to where Muhammad's ex-wife Mildred and his three children lived in Clinton, Maryland. Muhammad and Malvo basically made a shooting blind in the trunk of their car. They often targeted people doing simple everyday tasks, such as pumping their gas or leaving a store. In total, they killed 10 people and injured three others in the Washington, D.C. area. After several killings, Muhammad and Malvo got caught after taunting the police and demanding $10 million to stop their shooting. Someone who knew them from Alabama had tipped the police, which led them to a prior crime scene where Malvo had dropped a brochure. The brochure had one of his fingerprints and was matched on file with the immigration records. On October 24, 2002, the authorities surrounded the vehicle in which Muhammad and Malvo were in. They were taken into custody and arrested. In the end, Muhammad was convicted on six counts of murder in a 2006 trial in Maryland. Muhammad served his sentence at Sussex State Prison in Virginia until his death by lethal injection on November 10, 2009. It's scary to think that all of this happened here in Clinton, Maryland. The history here can easily go unnoticed, but it's unique to the stories of the DMV area.